now after we have drawn our four bar mechanism which i have shown in the another tutorial you can see its description below or on the screen so on the result as a result we have the four link lengths and their given positions which are also visible here so these are the four positions of the four lengths of the links and these are the four positions now in this video in this tutorial we will try to put a motion to the input link omega 1 is the angular velocity of link number 1 which is 0 because it is the ground or fixed which is not shown here link even the second velocity is the red link or input link here in our case which is 25 radians per second so we will see how to put to give this angular velocity and how to see the plot of the mechanism afterwards okay to start with we will go to motions and we will give a joint motion rotational joint motion i will click this and this is already set as 25 radians per second so 25 radians per second is the angular velocity i want to give based on the tabular values i have if you have one you, you don't see this radian per second you can type it yourself so after I type it, I have to click on a joint. So there are four joints with me. I want to apply this motion to this joint four in my case. So whatever joint number is for you, you can click this joint. And this is 25 radian per second angular velocity applied on it. Now we want to simulate this thing. So I will go to simulation. Here I go to the simulation control. In that simulation control, I have the end time of 5 seconds and the step size of 0.1. It means 51 uh, set step size because it will have initial zero step as well. So I can also increase the number of steps here and decrease the end time because 25 radians per second is a very high speed. So there will be large number of revolutions. I can make it cost 2 pi's or 6.28 at approximately is one revolution so 25 is very fast so maybe i can put the end time to be two seconds uh, and i make this uh, zero one step size so i can look for the verification of the mechanism so everything is fine there is no verification errors and now i click the blue uh, the green button to run the simulation so it has simulated for a large number of even some still many uh, cycles and then for going for the plotting i will go to this icon the blue icon of plotting i will click it and i have this one if you don't see this you have to go to this double page layout here after you click it you will see these two things here you can see load animation and when you load animation you will see this four bar mechanism on the left side you click here and whatever you will select you will see the plot here so for each window you have to click that window and the settings of that thing will come on the bottom so when i click this animation click uh, uh, this animation window i get the settings of this uh, animation and control and when i click this plot window i see the settings of the plot on the bottom so in the plot i will go to source in the source i will go to objects and then i have to select the body and the body i have three types of objects link number two three and four i look for the center of mass of the link number two and i go for its angular velocity and its magnitude and when i click add curve this is the angular velocity uh, of this uh, red link so that is shown in degrees per second so 25 radians per second if you put it in degrees it will be some fair here now i want to see the angular velocity of my link number three so i will click the center of mass of link number three angular velocity magnitude add curve so this is you see in each cycle it is rotating itself and it's showing then i go to the link number four and in the link number four i again go for its center of mass and its angular velocity and magnitude and if i put that curve here this is like this so these are all the curves for 
almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight uh, cycles of this red uh, four bar, this four bar mechanism has been shown here. So now if I click here and I, this is the speed control of the animation. So you can make it faster or slower. I put it somewhere here and I click it. So I can see the mechanism moving and what is the runtime velocity values are also moving here. So I can see the values here and I can also see the uh, mechanism moving. I can press F to fit it and see here if I press zoom and go out. So I can also see this. I can decrease or increase the speed or I can also stop the mechanism somewhere and here is the option of recording so if i click here it will record the video and also record this animation so if i take it to the start and it also asks me what is the frame increment what is the start and end what is the loop what type of loop i want to use so if i want the animation according to the curve or time marker so there are different options available you can play with them and you can get your video or animation settings so if i press r now and i run it so it is recording each frame now and this is about 30 frames recorded so Okay, so I recorded about 70 frames and I can export this file and uh, save this as a media file. So this is how you can see your velocities and video settings in MSC Adams. So this is not only for the angular velocities, you can look for the angular acceleration and angular other properties as well and also you have different options of translation with displacement velocity and acceleration for various points you can choose any marker and you can plot its definite uh, relative value there on the plot also in the curves you have the option to go one curve per plot or you want all the curves on the same graph so all these three angular velocities are having different colors and all of them have the same unit here even if you want for different units different units will be displayed on different axes of this plot so that's it for the uh, analysis plots of a four bar mechanism using atoms and uh, don't forget to uh, comment like the video and uh, subscribe for the next coming videos thank you